Yeah, that threat for storms has fire crews across southern Oregon relying on lookouts in remote areas tonight. Yeah, they're perched in higher elevations to report any lightning caused fires to crews as soon as those fires would start. NBC 5's Christine Pitawanich went to the Soda Mountain area today. She joins us live in studio with more. Christine. Craig, Natalie, the lookout I spoke with today says she's watching the clouds very closely for any developing thunderheads. It was a serene afternoon up at the Soda Mountain Lookout near the Oregon, California and Klamath County borders. I just, I like being here and what I'm looking for is signs of fire. And after 14 years on the job, Fire Lookout Laura Glasscock knows how fast conditions can change. Those clouds could, they, they could suddenly take off and start building really fast. If they start building into towers, then that's when you get the potential for lightning. With the potential for lightning comes the potential for fire. Last year, nearly 100,000 acres in southern Oregon burned. Most of the fire is caused by lightning. Lightning is our big concern. It's unpredictable nature, also a concern for Oregon Department of Forestry firefighters who rely on information that lookouts like Glasscock give them. A lookout like this is, is invaluable. The Soda Mountain Lookout is one of four staffed lookouts in the Medford unit. I mean, they're, they're giving us all kinds of information. Lookouts are often the, the first ones to identify a lightning strike that is causing a fire and identify where it is. And as Glasscock looks out at the horizon that's clear for now, she will eat, breathe and sleep up at the Soda Mountain Fire Lookout, enjoying nature. The hummingbirds are fighting all the time. <laughs> but remaining alert, watching, and waiting for the next lightning bolt to strike. ODF also has a fairly accurate lightning tracker as well, but Laura Glasscock says it doesn't always register every lightning strike. That's where lookouts like her play an important role in preventing and limiting the spread of forest fires. Live in the studio, Christine Pitawanich, NBC5 News.